Live has exclusive surveillance video tonight of the park where a water gun fight escalated to deadly gunfire. We were first to tell you last night deputies have charged a 20 year old Jonesboro man with the murder of a Clayton County High School senior. Tonight, Fox 5's Doug Evans has learned new information on what led up to the violence. Fayette County Sheriff Barry Babb sharing with Fox 5 both still photos and surveillance video that he says shows what happened in Kenwood Park on May 7th. First, this dramatic snapshot of murder suspect Sean Allen. Shirtless, arm extended, gun in hand. Sheriff Babb says this was just seconds before Sean Allen allegedly fired the fatal shots that killed high school senior Dequan Gillette. Next, a series of crime scene photos from that afternoon on May 7th. It was a Friday, it was late in the afternoon. A group of Clayton County high schoolers had met up to battle each other with squirt guns and water balloons. This is what was left over when the shots were fired. Now to the surveillance video. In that video, the sheriff says, you can see the kids having fun in the parking lot of Kenwood Park, shooting each other with those water guns and throwing water balloons. But in the upper right-hand corner of this view, a second set of what's described as current and former Clayton County high schoolers walks up from a basketball court and enters the parking lot. The sheriff says that the two groups would have words. That would turn into punches thrown. That would turn into shots fired from guns drawn by the basketball players. Now these two groups knew each other because they're either students or former students from Clayton County High School. Uh, then you see an escalation, you see an altercation, and then weapons are drawn, gunfires exchanged, and of course we had one student killed. The sheriff's office did not release the entire video because they say the investigation is continuing. But he says the rest of the video shows a dropped handgun discharged a bullet into one person's foot. They say that dropped handgun belonged to Sean Allen. They say Allen then took a handgun from one of the others there and fired the shots that killed Gillette. The sheriff says there are ongoing efforts to make Kenwood Park safer for everyone. We've already had a lot of dialogue. Uh, had a lot of community members uh, reach out. We actually have a meeting scheduled uh, where we're going to have leadership in the county, leadership in the community to look at improving, absolutely improving, the safety of the park. The sheriff says his investigators immediately identified Sean Allen as the murder suspect and took out warrants for his arrest that evening. He says since May 7th, Allen has evaded law enforcement efforts to locate him and then eventually turned himself in on Monday. I'm Doug Evans, Fox 5 News in Fayette County.